Yeah, welcome everyone to the, the Tesla D event. Uh, as you know, there's been a lot of uh, speculation as to what uh, the, you know, the D stands for. Okay, Elon. Didn't we just do the dumbest move ever? Didn't we just buy more shares of Tesla at the highest peak here at 427 when it started dropping? It looked like, I mean, normally you buy here at this point and we let it go, go, go. It, it felt like it was going to just skyrocket, you know, because it's the last minute before closing okay we're like 10 minutes no not even seven minutes away you felt like uh, wow now is when everyone decides to buy and no look it just started going down so bad move bad move really bad i mean we uh, reserved some budget for four more shares that we could buy eventually if if I would doubt we would buy them, but uh, we ended up buying, not today, but uh, for the last three weeks, 87 shares of Tesla, slowly, slowly at different prices, at different price increments, which is the way you're supposed to do. But so far, if you check this out, the result has not been very good. Anyway, we'll check by value. So far, we have a $700 profit, which is not very good. The entire portfolio has a huge loss. And uh, if I show you the entire portfolio, it has an even bigger loss. And this loss has been uh, carried since um, before the split, actually. It was when um, we thought that Tesla was going to be um, inserted in the uh, S&P 500. So we started selling everything. Ba literally, we sold, I think, the entire, the entire portfolio to buy Tesla. <coughs> and that didn't work out uh, as expected. So Look at that. That's the today's loss because most of the stocks are just going down. And um, luckily, Spotify, we bought one share of Spotify. And look at this. Sorry. Shopify. I, I always say Spotify. Shopify. And so far, we're making $14. So it would have been better just to put everything in Spotify. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, Elon. Okay, next time don't tweet these things, okay? Because people panic and they start selling off. Yeah. Obviously, if you tweet that whatever you said it was going to take until 2022 to be effective so that the battery and everything, we, people just think that, oh, you're going to launch a battery tomorrow. So, oh my God, so... This stock is going to go skyrocketing. But uh, yeah, that's not the way it is. That's not the way it works. Okay, let's see. F last five minutes. See what happens. Is it going to recover? Are we going to at least close above the 200 moving average? So far, the 50 moving average is below the 200, which means... We're in a doubt, downtrend. You can see the 200 has a bit of a decline. So, yeah, I doubt that in these last minutes anything will happen. So, we might as well close here, but uh, why not wait just in case? Okay, there's two minutes left. Okay, and so far, so good. So basically, we'll end up closing at minus five and a half. And aftermarket, that's what I'm calling.
curious to see. I'm sure it's going to start dropping, but hopefully I'll be mistaken and it's going to start climbing up because think about it. If you buy at minus 5.5%, it's a discount. You're buying at a discount considering that now you are going to go there and give a talk about battery day and it's going to be a good talk. Yes, we all know that. That's the funny thing. We all know you're going to give a super nice talk and normally because of that, yeah, it should be going up which is not the case. Okay. Well, guys, if you like uh, humor, if you like Tesla, if you like Elon Musk, here we are together. We'll be with you soon. Uh, almost every day we'll try to be here with you. And um, we'll be giving you our insight here on how to trade Tesla. Tesla is not an easy to trade stock. It has a lot of potential. The thing is that when it drops and you think, oh, should I buy now, should I buy now, should I buy now? Pff, it just goes up like a, like a skyrock. And it always happens. Eh? It's always, I'm trying to find, it's like it drops, pff, it takes off. Drops, pff, takes off. So, it's not easy to buy it at the very bottom, okay? That's that's very difficult, I would say. But it gives you good um, potential. Like uh, today, we, we saw that we had 4% from bottom, today's bottom to today's high. But 4%, which is pretty good, is not something that it's easy to trade in one day. Because to be able to buy it here and sell it there, oh my God, that's... So normally you need to trade Tesla in a weekly basis, I would say. How do you do that? Okay, let's check out how would you do that. First, you make sure to select in the monthly. Even though we're going to trade in the weekly, you check it out in the monthly. Actually, we just closed and we can see the after hours so far 0%, but we'll see where that goes. So when you are in the monthly, so you would normally buy here, buy at the bottom when it crosses, it still didn't cross. You need to make sure that it's crossing because many times happened to me that I don't buy when it crosses and it keeps on falling. And it might fall sometimes 20% more. You never know. I mean, I'm not talking about Tesla in general. Tesla fell 20% last week. It's not very common that it will fall 20%. But look, today it fell 5.5%. So, and it keeps on falling. Look at that. In after hours, it keeps on falling. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. I suppose if uh, Battery Day gives something amazing, I'm looking at you. If you give something amazing today, tomorrow might be that Tesla recovers. Because normally when you have a drop, the day after recovers. It's like a candy shop a little bit. Uh, it's like a discount. If you have the discount, it's good. Okay, I'm going to delete the drawings, clear drawings, boom, and I'll explain to you how you would do to trade Tesla. Look at this. From here, that's 14th of August, okay, and here you have uh, 9th of uh, 4th of September. So you have 20 days, more or less every 20 to 25 days you have Tesla going up and down, more or less. I mean, most of the stocks are the same. 
And so imagine you would buy here at the bottom and you would try to buy at the top here. Normally you would try higher up, but then that's one month almost, 20 days. So how do you do it per week? Per week you try to buy slowly as it goes up and then you sell slowly as it starts going down. Okay, so that takes two to three weeks, but it's difficult to try to get a, a, a benefit in one single day or even in one single week, which it might happen, but it's not easy. Okay, so buy the dip, buy the dip based on the MACD and sell based on the MACD at the hype, at the highest point, which would have been, in our case, last week. But based on the MACD, now we're at the lowest point. So now Tesla should go up to 575, 600, as some people have predicted it will happen. If you think about it, if this now crosses, to go up tomorrow, it will most likely we will overpass the 500, the 550. Um, probably, if you look at this from here, uh, if you would uh, plot this same graph here, starting from here, you reach 605, probably even more. How can we do that? Let's do that right now. So we're going to plot the trend line, okay, you click on this one, by default I have it now, and let's do the lowest to the highest, that's 82%, that's not possible, that's, that's humongous, 82%, oh my god, it's almost double itself, I doubt we'll get 82%, but I'm going to just plot it here, if I can, Look, more or less, it was there. Okay, I close this. So more or less, it, it will be <laughs> exactly 600. I doubt we're going to get there from this point, uh, the, the lowest point I'm selecting. I, I don't select uh, from here, logically. So from here, from the moment we are right now, which is more or less at 24, 23 here, and if we go to 600, it would be 40%. I doubt it's going to be that much. Uh, I think a more reasonable level would be something like that, like 2019, but that's already a lot, and that's in the 500s. 500s from where we are now, okay? So we need to go 20% up, to meet the goal that we most people had because uh, Tesla normally tends to have double uh, peaks. So the idea or the estimation would be that it will have a double peak here at 500. So we'll see. Tomorrow we'll have to wait. I hope you watch Elon tonight uh, in his presentation. Uh, we'll go together, okay? You, you introduce me to everyone, yes? Excellent. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, all this is in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm just a retail investor like you. So uh, trade safely and uh, hopefully you make a lot of money tonight. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.